Well, the thunderstorms have passed. All right, it has finally quit raining. Here it is, the first part of June. Here in the central Appalachians of the southwestern part of Virginia, the weather can be nuts. The weather can be unpredictable. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it's about 1230 on a Friday night. Well, might as well say Saturday morning. And uh, I want to send two shout outs. First of all, Chris Rothlisberger, you asked, uh, well, you left a comment on the uh, Garage Guy channel Facebook page on a photo I uploaded for Spongebob. Christopher, there he is, Spongebob. <laughs> Anyhow, also uh, another shout out to uh, my brother in arms, the crazy Scotsman. Let freedom ring, my friend. Be checking your mail this coming week. Got a little something for you, all right? <laughs> Anyhow, this video is about a firearm I bought back in late January. It hasn't been shot yet. I bought it from a granddaughter, Jay Lee, and when she finally saw it, she fell in love with it. And here is an analogy I have. All right. The less moving parts, the less likely you have to have failure, okay? You know, less moving parts, the chances are it's not going to fail. We're talking single-shot shotguns. I think the same goes for rimfire rifles. This, my friends, is the Keystone David Cricket, chambered in 22 LR. And uh, it has a one-round capacity. And what I liked about this, what got my attention, was the stock right here. It is a synthetic stock, plastic, polymer, whatever you want to call it, but uh, the colors on here. They're more or less geared to the uh, female shooters. And Jay Lee just loved this right here. Now myself, if I was going to get something like this, it would be chambered in 22 Magnum, and it would have either the wooden stock or the plain Jane black polymer stock. Anyway, we're talking, uh, well, like I said, one round capacity. You have the uh, replaceable ramp side on the front, peep side on the rear, but of course, uh, it is drilled and tapped for a rail, which I have one of these right here. And let me look at this. Uh, used with 3 8 dovetail rings. Yeah. And I have a scope right here. Of course, uh, Iraq Veteran 8888 on a video he made back in uh, 2011 was making shots with uh, one of these at 250 yards using the uh, factory sights. Guess what? This is a fun plinker. It's something I want to share with my granddaughter. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And when my nieces and nephew come down from the Maryland coast to visit, we can use this also. Jay Lee is 14 right now, and she is a far more advanced shooter with firearms than something like this, but still yet. She told me, she says she's really looking forward to trying this out. Now what this comes with is a uh, blued finish on a barrel. The barrel length is 16.125 inches. The overall weight is uh, two pounds, eight ounces, and uh, overall length, 30 inches. I might have already said that. Rate of twist in a barrel is one in 16. Now, the safety under here, there's no key safety port or lock under here like there are on a lot of the other models. Uh, the Savage Rascals or some of the others, this one doesn't have it, okay? And uh, you also have sling swivel studs right here on the back of the shoulder stock and right one right here on the forehand grip. Now, point name safe direction, safety check. 
nothing in the chamber and I hate dry firing a rim fire firearm but right here you pull this back there you go and then you just pull the bolt back put another round in chamber it pull that back yada 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 anyway this is great for beginners but also you know back in my day you know I'm 57 years old and I remember when I was a teenager these things have been around for decades okay and a lot of older people back in would take these and go raccoon hunting for the fur or what have you and they'd have their blue tech hounds they'd have their beagles they'd have their hunting dogs and they would be all over these mountains in the middle of the night and the dogs would treat a raccoon of course they called it coon hunting and uh well, that's how they made their livelihood. They'd come back with raccoon pelts. They'd uh, trade them in. Hey, there's groceries for the next two weeks. That's how it was. And a lot of them was taken with something like this. But to me, this, this is going to be just a fun gun, just something to target shoot with, just something to have fun with, and still yet the uh, rules of firearm safety apply for everybody of all ages as far as my nieces and nephew and granddaughter goes they're all very aware of this but you know my granddaughter really liked this jay lee was one like well as far as target shooting i can take it or leave it you know, I really wish she'd get more into it, but hey, she's going to do her thing, and I'm going to fully support her. But something like this, you know, it's not a bribe, but it's an option, okay? Huh, David Cricket, you know, made by Keystone. I like this. I think it's rather cool. Let me know what you think, okay? This may not be the best video you ever seen on this, whatever. Uh, when I do the first shots video with this, I hope Jay Lee will be taking the first shots with it. I'm going to set it right back here. And I'm going to go on now. I'm going to go on in here in the garage, do what I do. But uh, think about it. You know, if you have a family member, a young family member, and you think they might be interested in the uh, shooting sports, I think this is an excellent option. All right. Hope to catch you good people later.